what's going on YouTube my name is Houston from acarlton.com and today I'm going to show you how to unjailbreak your iPod touch 4th generation iPhone 4 iPad 2 pretty much any Apple device that has a touch screen so the first thing you want to do is have your iPod plugged in by via USB to your computer like I have and then you want to go into Cydia so what you want to look for is this right here in the search tab. It says APT Backup. And once it's installed, you will not need to boot up. And you should get this little icon right here. It looks kind of like a safe. Just click it. Now, let me just tell you what it does. So what this app pretty much does is it saves all of your Cydia apps, add-ons, Pretty much anything you install to your iPod Touch, iPhone, and iPad from Cydia, this saves it. And it saves the settings and pretty much everything. This does not save music, iTunes apps, and stuff like that. So what you want to do is hit backup. It doesn't even take a minute. It takes like a second. And so when you unjailbreak your iPod, this does save. So when you jailbreak it again, you install this app, you hit restore, and then pretty much resumes all the add-ons that you added from when you backed up so it looks almost exactly the same so once you do that after that you want to go into the app store and you want to install the, another application now this application is called fun amble and what it does is it saves all of your contacts and pictures and stuff like that so I really like it. I think it's useful. Let me just show you the app. Funnable. So what it does it saves all of your contacts, your pictures and stuff like that. So it saves it from your mobile phone to the server, your t your contacts to the server and you could just transfer it. So if you have an iPod touch like me and you restore it, to manufactory settings then you will need to enter in all of your contacts again which takes a really long time so it does come in handy so the next step you want to do is turn off your device completely so just hold the power button and it says slide to shut down now just wait for it to shut down for a while and then you want to open up iTunes like I have right here now you should hear that little beeping noise which means it's powered off completely. Now what you want to do next is put your device in DFU mode. So you want to hold the power and the home button for 10 seconds. Then let go of the power button until you, and then hold, keep holding the home button for another 10 seconds. Until you hear the beeping noise on your computer. So hold this and this for 10 seconds. Then let go of this and then keep holding the power or home button for 10 seconds. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Keep pulling the power home button. Now you hear that little beeping noise. Now you can let go of your. And that says iTunes has detected your iPod in recovery mode. You must restore. So you can restore to one of your SSH files, but I'm not going to. It's I'm just going to click restore. Now you will need to update and restore if you're not on the latest firmware. So just update and restore it. Now it will need to download and it does take some time. So it will take another 8 minutes while I pause this video. Alright, now I'm preparing to restore, restore my iPod to 4.3.3 I think is the current firmware. Installing device driver software. Now there is the Apple logo. Click close. Preparing iPod for restore still. So. Now there is the loader.
connect the icon. Make sure it is plugged in, so make sure it is plugged into your computer. I don't know how it would upgrade if your iPod's not connected to your computer, so never mind I said that. And there you go, your iPod has been restored to factory settings. Now, do check out my website, it's all about Apple and Android rumors. I do have a couple writers right now. If you do want to write for me, contact me by via YouTube. Subscribe to my channel and check out my new channel background just because it's pretty cool, I like it. Follow me on Twitter and like my Facebook fan page. And that's all I have to say for now, you guys. I am out of here. Peace.